Connor, thank you. This morning we are following through on new ways to involve the community and ultimately try to help cut down on gun violence involving kids. That is the goal. News 3's Kelsey Jones in the community looking at new options in the works in the efforts to give kids quite literally a safe haven. Inside of the Safe Haven Empowerment Center. I like it this because it's right at your eyes. The upcoming community center is another way to help families and youth in Newport News feel more concrete. When I say, you know, I want this to really be a one stop shop for the community, um, <laughs> this is what it's going to be. Antoine Buffet, a former NFL Super Bowl champion and Newport News native, is the founder of the Safe Haven Empowerment Center. His commitment to planting roots in the city, he says, molded him, already has some families thrilled for something new. Give them that experience, give them something to do, get them off the streets, out of the bedrooms, playing on the playstations, and get them active, and that's what they need now. The building, formerly known as the Boys and Girls Club, it even brought back a few memories because I came here when I was a kid. The inspiration behind this community center stems from Antoine's childhood. Everything in me, I, I, you know, I give to Newport News, right? So for me, just wanting to, you know, impact people's lives, um, young boys, young girls that, you know, that look like me, I'm um, coming up in similar situations. From the bad to the good, the football stars hoping to touch down on a child's future. And that's where the center comes in. Last year, the city approved this partnership with Bethay to give kids resources of all ages. We talk about sometimes, um, you know, some families not being able to you know, get on the internet or have internet in their household. So this would be a place where we could do that as well. Partnering with, um, you know, Best Link Strategies, um, they'll come in and they'll teach um, and offer, you know, certification as far as for um, cyber security. So it will be a lot of different things. We have a basketball courts here. We have a swimming pool here. I know they're expecting football because of you. <laughs> yeah. So again, like in this room right here, this will be this will be the esports room. Um, and again, we talk about esports. That's going to be huge. Podcasting, um, music studio. We'll also have a um, a safe haven closet where you know we'll we'll have clothes. I have four great grandkids that I know this center is going to be very valuable to them. But they says the center will be open to everyone in the community, especially adults who need on-site resources for mental health, although there's still a lot of work to be done. He's certainly looking forward to officially open his doors in August. In my hometown of Newport News, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.